Hello Twinklers, this is Miss Sarah and I'm coming to you today with a short video about something very important. Our lovely little dog Chewy has died. This is very sad, but it is a natural part of life. It's sad, but it's not bad. It makes you hurt in your heart, but it's a part of every life. So. I wanted to talk to you about what we do for each other when something like this happens. One of the first and the best things that we can do is write a condolence card. A condolence card is a card that shares the sad feelings that we have with the person who was closest to the one who passed. And Chewy belonged to Ceteray. So what I'm asking everyone to do is to write a condolence card to Cetera. And I show you now how to write the card. Your note needs to have three big things in it, three sentences. It shouldn't be long. It should be from your heart. And it's really a very simple thing. The first thing you say is always, I'm sorry that Chewy died. I've heard that Chewy died and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you lost your dog, Chewy. The first thing you say is, I'm sorry someone's gone. The second thing you say is something lovely about the person or the dog that you remember. So maybe you remember playing with Chewy. In my condolence card, I wrote, I was always so impressed at how frisky he was, even though you told me he was sick something that you remember fondly. I remember the time that I got to scrub him behind the ears and he did that funny thing with his face. He always made me happy. Some positive memory that you have. It's a way of reminding the person that you're writing the note to that it was a good experience and that, that you feel him too. The third thing that we write, this is the one that can be very different based on whoever's writing it. The third thing is called a show of support. And a show of support is just a way of saying, I care about you and that's why I'm writing you a note. I care about you and if you would like to talk about it, I wanna, I wanna let you talk to me and I wanna listen. If, um, if, uh, if you wanna hug, I wanna hug you, right? When I see you next, I'm gonna give you a big hug and say, I'm sorry that you lost Chewy or Chewy was great. A show of support is a way of saying, with an action instead of just with words. I want to come and remind you that we're all going to heal it and we're all going to have less ouch in our heart with time. And so your note is short. Again, it's three ideas. It's I'm sorry, he was great, and I love you. Those three feelings, one after the other. Um, down in the descriptions, you're going to see a, a, a a link to a video that includes how to address an envelope and I'm also going to write out how to address an envelope just just in case um, if the parents want to show the children through that that is a wonderful thing uh, but children I must tell you if you go to your parents and you say I need to write a condolence card they will be surprised and they will be very impressed because my loves when you decide to write a condolence card, you're mustering up strength inside of you. I know that you have a feeling of, oh gosh, what am I having to do here? Everyone feels that when they write their first condolence note. It hurts your heart to think of someone else hurting. You don't want to talk about it, but, but I mean it, my loves. You're not talking about it for a long time. You're talking about it for just enough to help you and the other person heal. This is very important, and I know that you can do it. And you will be stronger when you finish this note than you were when you started. You'll be able to feel it, and you'll know that you just grew a bit, for real. So I'm looking forward to seeing them, and thank you so much for listening. Take it to heart. You knew Chewy. You can speak about him. And Cetera will heal inside because you did. I love you, Twinklers.